The Bay Area has five petroleum refineries in Contra Costa and Solano counties. These refineries produce fuel to support the nearly 5 million registered vehicles in our nine-county region. While these refineries are already highly regulated, the Air District adopted the Refinery Emissions Reduction Strategy in 2014 to further reduce pollutant emissions and greenhouse gases. The Phillips 66 Carbon Plant in Rodeo is the only coke calcining facility in the Bay Area. Petroleum coke is a black solid byproduct of the refining process. Coke calcining is the process of removing sulfur and other contaminants from it to create a purer form of carbon. The calcined coke product is sold and used in products such as sunscreen and other personal care products. The Phillips 66 coke calcining facility is the largest emitter of sulfur dioxide or SO2 in the Bay Area. Proposed Rule 9-14 targets SO2 emissions from the Phillips 66 carbon plant. This will be the first air district regulation targeting sulfur dioxide in decades. The reduction of SO2 will also reduce secondary particulate matter formation in the ambient air, a major health concern in the Bay Area. Rule 9-14 will require the carbon plant to better control their SO2 emissions by improving their current controls if technically feasible or installing new controls. This rule will set an emission limit based on a variety of data including air district source tests. The goal of this rule is to reduce SO2 by approximately 56%, which will also result in reduced particulate matter emissions. There are several solutions to better control SO2 emissions. This rule does not specify which solution the facility must choose, but gives the facility the flexibility to choose the most cost-effective route. Further research by Phillips 66 will result in more accurate emissions data this will assist the facility in determining the most cost-effective method for reducing SO2 emissions and meeting the new requirements. The end result of passing Rule 9-14 will be a reduction in emission levels, more accurate data readings from the facility, and a safer work environment and cleaner air. The Bay Area Air District welcomes your questions and comments on proposed Rule 9-14.